Hello, my friends and brethren in the Lord. Welcome to God's Word for Today devotional. Let me read to us our text for today in Mark chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. One of the blessings that we know about Christianity is that it includes everyone, including the children, the least and the lost. Let the children come to me. That's how Jesus invited the children to himself. As Jesus became become um, popular, he was a popular teacher now. He was known by people all around as he roamed around and teaching and healing and making difference in the life of people by the things that he did. Jesus must have endured a lot of people, including families. Parents were bringing their children to him to touch and bless them. And the word bless is from the word means eulogio and can mean to pray, celebrate, or consecrate the thing or person being blessed. To bless someone is to do work for their benefit or to hope or pray for one's benefit. Perhaps the parents think Jesus as a respected rabbi and that he can pray that God will act on behalf of their children. Though at this time they don't understand that Jesus is God himself, and he genuinely delights in the children. Although it was not that clear yet for these parents, they have endeared or they have been attracted to the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ, being um, um, a teacher who was very kind and tender to the kids. But the disciples were different. They were not so accommodating to the kids. They prevented them to go to Jesus. For them, these kids maybe were nuisance. Although they see Jesus' tenderness to the weak and powerless, they rebuke the kids who were flocking in toward Jesus. And we can understand this because kids are kids and they are noisy, they are running around and they cannot prevent, but they just are noisy and uh, they, can, they, they are hard to control at times, but they are children. What can we expect from kids but be kids? They, they just want to play and love to run, to run around. So these disciples wanted to in, insulate Jesus. They, they think maybe that Jesus did not want to be disturbed. So they insulated Jesus from any mob, just like these kids flocking in. And when Jesus saw it, he was indignant. And the word indignant is from the Greek word, which means being irritated or exasperated. In modern time, terms, it refers to someone who is irked, I-R-K. Up to this point, they did not understand Jesus' heart for the least and the lost. Jesus was angry. Jesus expressed his anger here or in indignation to the disciples, but he did not sin. We we know that in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, that Jesus was tempted in all points, but he did not commit any sin. So he commanded the disciples, let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter in. With this statement from Jesus, we know that children are part of God's kingdom too. Jesus knows the disciples' hearts. Perhaps they have a vague idea about God's kingdom. For them, maybe the kingdom does not put importance on the powerless like kids. And this attitude, I believe, Jesus addressed because it's no different than the Gentiles. The Gentile rulers 
lord over their subjects as he teaches us in Mark chapter 10, verse 42. He tells them once again that he is there to manifest the kingdom of God. So he took the children in his arms and blessed them. He laid his hands on them. Here, we see the picture that he really was willing to inter be interrupted by his kids. He takes he took time away from his from his journey to Jerusalem and to show love to this least and the lost, and prioritize these kids as important. And I pray that in our different ministries in the church, we should not despise the kids the ministry for the kids, the Sunday school, and the activities that we set that the kids will be drawn to the gospel, they are very important because kids are important before God, before Christ. We must prioritize our kids like Jesus did. Parents, we have still that mysterious place in our children's lives. And our relationship with God as parents can reflect and they, our kids can mirror. God gives every parent the importance and, and uh, noble duties of praying and guiding and nurturing the kids. So they are entrusted to our care in order for them that they will be drawn to the Lord Jesus Christ. They are to ask God's blessings, or parents have to ask God's blessings in order that children will be drawn closer to the Lord, that the Lord will open their eyes, that they will be able to see their need of Jesus. I think that's our, our primary duty is our, as, as parents to our kids, where we can support them by providing them their needs. We have to provide their physical, material, educational, whatever kind of needs. But the most important thing is to see them, that they are sinners. Our children are sinners, and they need God's forgiveness in Christ. They need to understand that they are sinners in order that they will repent of their sins and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, what legacy can we give better than that, that the faith that we receive this faith, the grace of salvation, the free salvation through faith that we receive in Christ. This is the best legacy that we can handle and hand in to our children until the next generation. And that should be our primary um, um, and priority in nurturing our kids in parenting. So let's remember this. Jesus' arms are open wide. Let the children come to me. Jesus is waiting for them to come. His eyes or his arms are so wide and they are so tender to receive these little ones. Let's draw our kids toward the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for this truth, Lord, at um, the kingdom of God has rooms, Lord, for everyone, especially the kids. I pray to Father that you will guide every parent to nurture and, and guide your children to know the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, amidst the temptations and the pressures of the world around. I pray that you will grant that wisdom and that parents will be able to nor children your kids unto the fear of the Lord. Thank you that you um, have this promise that the kingdom of God is for the kids also. Thank you for that invitation, Lord Jesus. Let the children come to me, for theirs belongs the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.